and we're back with another car vlog because it makes my life easier. Um, I'm heading home right now. It's This is going to be a short video because I'm like, it's only going to take me 10, 15 minutes to get home. So I want to talk about the Demon House um, documentary that's actually coming out tomorrow. For those of you that don't know, Zach Baggins, who is the lead investigator for Ghost Adventures, um, long story short, bought a house infested with what they say over, um, I think like 200 demons. He bought this house sight unseen a couple years ago, and he actually went in and, um, I, I don't know if I would call it an investigation because it seems like it encompassed more than just like your typical investigation um there were a lot of things that happened i'm gonna probably get into that in like a deeper video i just kind of want to give you guys like an overview for those of you that don't know i know they had like a like a spiritual advisor i don't know if it was like priest reverend um whatever you want to call him i can't think of his name they had talked to cops that were involved and people from child protective services um, one of the kids, it was actually a mother that lived in the house with, I think, her three children. And one of the children was in the emergency room and they had a witness say that they, that she had seen this kid walk backwards up the wall and flip and land on its feet in front of um, the mother. I think it was a little boy. I can't, I don't know, like his age or anything. Um, so like stuff like that happened, but actually... I have been following like the documentary for a while. I was kind of like, I kind of stopped following it because I was like, okay, Zach, when is this gonna come out? I understand it took him a long time because you wanna do your best work with it. Completely understandable. Um, this house is incredible, but the people that they had actually working there, um, Zach himself said that he stayed in bed for eight days after this whole ordeal because he was affected so badly. And there were other, crew members there that were sick and had like bad things happen to them um, some fire some um, got fired some actually quit themselves um, and I've also been following Zach like released the documentary to a certain few people um, to kind of review it early and I know Steve Barton was one of them and I absolutely love him like I, I don't know. I like reading his interviews and reading his site and stuff like that. Um, I will put a description and like a link for his website down below. But he had seen it. There were a lot of people that reviewed it. So as Zach is like retweeting all of these reviews um, that people posted online, I was actually like flipping through and reading them to kind of get a feel for how the documentary was. There is, sorry for that jangling. It's my coffee cup. Um, there actually is a... I don't even want to say viewer discretion because it's a lot more than that. There are, you know, like graphic movies and shows will say viewer discretion advised. This one seems like it's so much more than that because they do say that this film is cursed. And um, I think a lot of people were hesitant about that. I have a select few friends that are into the paranormal and demonology and stuff like that. And the majority, the majority of them will not be watching it because they are scared and actually my friend um, had asked me she's like I want you to watch it first and then I'll watch it I don't want anything bad to happen so I guess we're gonna see how it goes I think it officially comes out today is Thursday March 15th right 15th yes Thursday March 15th it comes out technically tomorrow in I think only like 10 or 12 theaters um, but you can pre-order it on a ton of different um, like streaming devices like YouTube, Amazon, iTunes. Um, I pre-ordered mine off iTunes actually. It was $12.99, which is not bad at all. I mean, I would rather sit at home in my sweatpants and not spend $20 on snacks and do it that way. Um, but I really wanted to see it like as soon as I could. Um, the closest theater to me, I believe, is Cleveland and I am not driving two hours. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna pre-order it. So I'm really excited to watch it tomorrow. Um, I don't know, I have like a lot to say. I wanna do a full review of it and just kind of give my opinion. I am a little, I wouldn't 
can't say scared. I'm a little hesitant to watch it just because I'm not, I'm not even going to say that I went through similar things, but I don't want it to trigger anything that I've been through in the past with um, this line of work. I am shaking so much. I'm sorry. I don't want it to trigger anything that I was in, you know, like situations I was in before. It, there was nothing that came remotely close, holy shit, to I'm sure what the crew went through. But sometimes I watch, um, I watch certain episodes and it really brings up some stuff for me and I do get really emotional so I just don't want that to happen um I'm super excited to watch it um my boyfriend actually I don't I told him about it I think he's kind of weird about it about like watching it so I might honestly just watch it by myself if I did not have um to be at the hospital tomorrow morning for like eight or nine hours I would watch it right when it came out tonight at like midnight or one or whatever time it's getting released but I'm gonna save it for tomorrow evening. I think I'm just gonna wait and after I'm done at the hospital, like go home and do dinner with my son and stuff like that. And then I think after I lay him down for bed, I'm gonna sit and watch it and pay complete attention. Um, and I wanna be able to give you guys like a really good review and like really talk about it. So I need to make sure I'm paying full attention. So I'm one of those people, um, guilty. Sometimes, a lot of the time, I will like get on my phone when I am like watching a movie or watching a documentary but I also feel like this documentary I'm gonna be like glued to it the whole time and actually um, they said that <clears throat> in Zach's haunted museum out in Vegas he has pieces of this home in his museum but I feel like I heard she had he had like part of the wall or like remnants of a room or something like that which would be freaking sweet I know he did say um, Zach said I was reading a couple of interviews like I said and he he was finding himself um, like laughing at people getting hurt and like getting sick and stuff and you could tell that whatever was there was trying to take a hold of him and he said it was unlike any other investigation like you can tell when you walk in that house that something is there and it has you in its plan and you have no idea what's going to happen so he had also said like I said he was sick for like eight days in bed after that I mean it really affected a lot of people and I understand that the house did need demolished because of everything that happened there I know though also that he wanted to also like keep the house up for a little while longer so he could keep conducting these people are beeping at me if they're filming so he could keep conducting different investigations but he said he almost became like obsessed with the house he had um like close surveillance like close or surveillance cameras I can't even speak to that around the house and when he was like traveling or in Vegas he would constantly check on this house like he was obsessed with it and he always wanted to know what was going on I I would probably be the same way but once you get to that point where you're becoming like addicted and obsessed and like from what I understand Zach was going through a lot emotionally and physically with his health that's when you know you need to like cut the crap and do something and kind of take care of it um there was somebody else on scene that said they had wished that um Zach had a for, I don't know if they said they wished he would have done an exorcism or like you know cleansed the house before he demolished it or if they should have or if they said like he should have just left the house um I don't know there's a lot of history with this um I want to say I've watched interviews and stuff about it and I've read multiple articles and I kind of want to compile them all into one video um but this is kind of like a raw driving video I want to kind of give my opinion. I'm so excited to watch it though. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, my tag is Seeking Chills on both of those. I've been posting about this house for the last couple of weeks because I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see like Zach finally put out this documentary and it's hard. Like. 
I listened to Crystal Leandra at Ghost Girl Diary talk about, um, you know, like all the work that goes behind putting out a documentary like that. And there are a lot of people that are kind of pissed off because they're like, okay, why is this theater not closer to me? They have to understand that for Zach to get it out at all in theaters is a huge deal. So the people that are like, oh, I wish it was in a theater closer to me, it will get there. But the thing is, there has to be a demand for it. So if you're going to the movies and you live close to wherever they are, you need to go and you need to watch it and, you know, keep going. And once they see that demand in theaters, they might release it to more or, you know, things like that. I can't explain this well because I don't know, like, the production world. Crystal can explain it so much better. Um, she's freaking awesome. If you do not watch her, you are seriously missing out. I, she d has kind of like, she's still on YouTube, but she's also doing Twitch right now. And she had like, I want to say it was like a two and a half hour stream last night. And today I was doing laundry and just like, you know, working on stuff around the house. And I listened to her stream and I swear she is just, I love listening to her talk because she is a very educated and fascinating woman. And I just, she's just so fun at the same time too like she's professional but she's fun and she's like a sweetheart and if i lived in vegas we'd probably be best friends but i know um actually one of my subscribers manny he was in her um live stream like he was talking to her and i was like oh my god there's manny so she's really cool though if you guys do not follow her um she has two channels she has crystal leandra she also has ghost girl diary um but her and her crew do an amazing job with their videos and you can tell she's very seasoned in this lifestyle I guess you'll say um, she knows her shit like she, she like people will ask her stuff I love watching her videos because they're long videos um, but some of her older videos about like Q&A's and just like teaching you how to do stuff um, the paranormal realm of things I guess you could say She's so educated and I love listening to her. Cause like, if somebody would ask me something to ask her, like my response would be like maybe five minutes. Hers is like 20 minutes because she knows everything. I know she doesn't know everything. Like I know we all have something to learn, but she's a smart girl and she's been busting her ass and doing this for so long. And I'm really proud of her. I think any girls in this community, like we are that you know are like really attaining their goals and like moving forward it's fucking kick ass like it just makes me so happy i just drove around my neighborhood so i could keep talking but this is at like 13 almost 14 minutes so i'm gonna pull in and i'm actually going to go out to dinner so i will talk to you guys later um if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel i'm currently working on a couple of new videos i say that every week i know i'm like really slacking i'm sorry guys but um, I'm working on new videos and I also am on Twitter and Instagram. You guys can subscribe here, like this video. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. I love talking to you guys. And then also on Instagram and Twitter, you can get like daily updates for when I'm not uploading. But you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.